guys welcome back to my channel so if you are new to my channel then welcome to my channel so i usually upload videos about art and craft related and i'm also wanted to say that i usually upload one major diy in my videos but from now i'm thinking of at least uploading more than two diy's in one video so i'm also doing an series which is hashtag uh, fun and easy things to do when you are bored and this would be my first video of this uh, fun and easy things to do series and if you don't want to miss any of these videos then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you like my video then please give it a big or fat thumbs up and it would really mean a lot to me if you do that so yeah let's get started so for this First DIY you will need a 4 size color paper, it can be of any color, I have taken here yellow color paper. Now I will be gluing it, how I am showing in the video, please follow the steps. The purpose I have done this because it will give you much more length than previous paper. Now we will make the a fan, so we usually have made it in our childhood, I think so. So if you don't know then please follow the steps. It is very simple to make. Now I will continue this process until we fully cover the paper. So as you can see I have covered the paper. Now you have to fold it from the middle and paste it like this. So I have pasted it and I have also made another one piece of the same size and length. And I will be pasting the opposite side. But not the both sides we will paste. Only one side of this one. So I have pasted it as you can see. Now you will need two popsicle sticks of the same size and length and paste it like this. So it's very simple and easy to make and it really adds a lot if you hang it on the wall. So it is very simple to make and it actually adds a lot to you. Your boredom gets totally break. So for this second DIY you will need a color paper. It can be of any color. So I think it will be more better if you follow the steps. Oh. So as you can see I have done the mountain fold on the two sides. And I will be doing it on the both the sides. So please follow the steps. So as you can see there will be 3 into 3 squares. Now you have to just fold it. It will take some time to get adjust but if you do it then it will come. So we will be doing this fold on both the sides. Just to show you guys that how is it happening, I am showing the whole process and it will definitely help you. So as we all know that origami is all about means not to use any pasting or stapling but for long stability I will be stapling it. So the box is ready, now we will make the lid of the box. So I'm just stapling it on the all sides to get the stability. As you can see the box is ready. So now let's make the lid. So you have to fold it like this. So this is 
is all about folding and you have to follow the steps and it will really help you. It is very easy to make and very convenient also. So now you have to fold it. It is also like that box only. You have to adjust it. Take some time to get adjusted, but it will definitely be light and light. So I am also stapling it with the stapler. So as you all know that the lid and the box is ready. So now let's decorate it with. I am totally obsessed with washi tapes. So I, whenever I do something, I always use washi tapes in my craft. I have also think of a little bit gorgeous. So it totally changes the look of your room, and it is very convenient. You can use it for any makeup storage, any earring storage. So I will be using it for my uh, DIY earring storage. So it is very convenient. So for this last DIY, you will need a popsicle stick, and you have to mark the ends just to. I will trim off the rounded end, so I'm marking it. If you think you don't have to mark it, then you can directly cut it. So as I have told, I'm obsessed with washi tapes. I have also decorated my ruler. So now you have to cut the ends. How I am showing. Now you have to make the pencil lead like this, that a pointed neck. Pointed neck. It's like now I will be cutting it. If you are having sandpaper, then you can always smooth it out. But I was not having sandpaper, but it was totally good without sandpaper also. Now I have to make mark it three centimeter above the pointed end, but not from the pointed end. Three centimeter, as I am showing in the video. Now you have to cut it. So as you can see, our first pencil is ready. Now I will just curl, trace it out for the second pencil also. So I have cut it two pencils and I will be coloring it and adding identity. So I have used markers. You can use acrylic colors. If you are using acrylic colors, then please don't use much water. It can damage the wood of the uh, popsicle stick. So as you can see, I will be adding this. Identity is like with markers only. It's a weird kind of thing, but it is very much what to say. Very much beautiful to see, and it is not common in any market. It's very uncommon. So now I have just only added the earring hooks. And our pencil earring is ready. It totally changes the look. Who is wearing this? And it is very nice. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.